All right, we're back with our watercolor and I've laid down some washes. And now the next step is to really add detail. Like I need to be able to see like turtle shell, the scales, the different textures. So now everything's dry because in watercolor you have to kind of skip around in order for things to really work. And now I'm gonna add some detail here. So for example, on this arm here, um, I've got some yellow patches that I want to layer and create some of that texture. And I'm not using a lot of water when I do this because I don't want it to pool on me. I want to have some control with it. But this is called glazing when you layer different shades of watercolor over the top of each other. Because the base color had this green color and then we saw some kind of yellowish spots on the turtle arm here. And then, for example, I could go in with some brown. I want to make it a darker brown, so I'm actually going to take the brown and mix just a little bit of black because I want it to be a rich kind of brown color that I'm going to glaze over there. Okay, then I can add some of the kind of texture that you see on a turtle shell. And that leaves kind of that greenish color coming through, especially in between some of that pattern that you see on the turtle shell. But you can keep building up these colors and creating um, great um, textures and um, glazes with the watercolors. So now it's a matter of going back in and building up some of my colors. I'm eventually gonna come down here and add the coral in, but now I'm adding the detail um, like this area because it's wet, I'd let that dry before I come back in and I want to make um, a little bit darker green here glazing over the top, but I want to let this dry so that whole area is dry. Um, so in watercolor, you kind of have to skip around and work certain areas and then come back and continue kind of working. So here I'm going to keep working on that texture of the tur turtle with the spots, but that's kind of my next step. 